So, time for a presentation as I promised you. Jurmo Trimaran HD year model 1976. It's been in my family's possession since the last 30 years. My dad bought it in September 1992. Uh, original engine was a B20 based Volvo Penta AQ115B and a 100B drive unit. Uh, then in 2000, I think I upgraded to a AQ130D with twin carbs, same engine basically, and uh, a 280 outdrive. And then when I got big money, I thought at that time in 2004, when I was a small boy, I bought this setup, a 290 outdrive, and uh, at that time a AQ171 engine. So 2.5 liter four-cylinder Volvo B230 based, 16 valve engine, twin carbs with automatic choke and uh, no points ignition or electronic Renix ignition. Uh, I had it there in this boat until uh, 2015, but from 2007 I modified it with Mega Squirt electronic fuel injection and Volvo. Uh, 2.3 liter 16 valve intake manifold from a 740 or 940 GLT 16 valve engine. So I ran it for a few years with that setup. And then in 2016, I put in this bad boy. Let's see. This is a basically a Volvo B, B230 turbocharged. Engine, as you can see, there's a HX35 with wastegate integrated wastegate crammed in there. Uh, I can take off this intake. It's quite a sturdy turbo, puts out 350 horsepower roughly and 500 newton meters of torque. If I crank up the boost to a full 1.5 bar, now at around 1.0 bar, it puts out a modest 250-260 horsepower, maybe. It's got a Chinese water intercooler here. As you can see, the engine compartment is extremely crammed. As you can see, the turbo is it's basically it's at, in the wall. So there's even a small hole here, so the turbo can fit better. <laughs> so very, very crammed. Uh, own made stainless exhaust log manifold. My uh, my friend's dad made it made the manifold partly to me, and I made the outside. I think he made the inside weldings because I didn't trust myself. Otherwise, stock engine, normal alternator, stock uh, heat exchanger. I think this is the smaller heat exchanger for the eight valve engines. The sixteen valves have, by the way, an eight row heat exchanger. This has a six row, but it it gets the things done. It keeps the engine cool. Uh, so, so I said, 8 liter, 8 level, 2.3 liter B230 based engine, uh, Volkswagen 1.8 turbo coil on plugs, coils here, Mega Squirt, basic Mega Squirt 1, 2.2, same as the 16 valve setup I've got, nothing special. There's a Volvo S90 or 940 or 740 exchange. Uh, uh, expansion tank for the cooling system, but this is made for the intercooler. So I've got there's an incoming uh, cooling water pipe here, and there's a wrap around uh, plastic tube on that uh, inlet copper pipe, and the coolant circulates outside this pipe. So the seawater cooling cools down the coolant, it acts as a heat exchanger, and then I've got a Webasto. Uh, water pump cooling the system. Uh, not efficient, but it works. It gets it gets the job done. Uh, probably in the long run, if I have the uh, full throttle for a while, it will overheat. But yeah, it seemed to work. It, it ha didn't have any problems. I have made. Uh, I have driven without intercooler setup for a half a season in my bigger boat. This this was in the Fincraft in the bigger boat that I have the V8 now on. Uh, before I put the 16 valve engine there and then I transferred it here. So the intercooler is first season working here. In the Fincraft, I think this put out 220 without the intercooler, 220 horsepower and maybe 400 newton meters. But it was a bit struggling in that boat. It, yeah. And as you can see, the boat is it's quite small boat. 
nothing fancy. The window is broken and it leaks like like a strainer. Like you can see there's <laughs> there's openings here and there. I'm trying to get them fixed, but I've got other things to think about. Uh, woodwork is finished like 10 years ago, refinished, but they are worn again, so I have to do them at one time. Uh, Blowpunk stereo from 2005, I bought it. Basic unit, gets the job done, nothing fancy. And yeah, mm, very small boat, but it works and I like it. Double battery is 110 amp here, I think. And then there's a 50 amp under that seat. 6.6x9 speakers, four of them. Yeah, and, uh, and stock uh, Volvo gauge setup at the moment. So fuel, voltmeter, engine temp, oil pressure, uh, oil temp, hour meter. This is not a Volvo unit, this is some kind of Bosch no video unit. And stock RPM gauge. I've got the video setup. A new video setup that I'm pondering if I'm putting it in this boat or if I'm putting it in the next project boat. I have got one, one at my friend's garage that I'm thinking about buying. But my wife won't be happy if I get it. <coughs> so we'll see about that. That stuff. Yes, anyway, you can see the bottom form on this boat. It's a trimaran, as I said, so it's got basically three. It's got one there, one V there, and a third V in there. So it's a trimaran setup. Uh, very good for water sports, uh, fast speed, mo moderate speed driving, let's say. But it can't do much over 40, 40 45 knots, I think, because it's so short. Uh, so very good at cornering, very good at low speed but not so good at high speed and and in rough seas this is like this boat is like useless if it's if the wind is more than five meters per second or like what could it be like uh, 10 knot, knots or whatever you want to call call it so not not much use if it's windy and bad weather yes and as you can see there's a lot of work to do Paint needs to be corrected, or I think I've painted it in 2007. You can see there's uh, bad, bad painting, but I painted in, it in a tent here in the yard. And here you can see the original top coat. I'm thinking about if I'd strip the paint and just have the top coat again, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Thank you.